Sometimes in comedy, you'll be called to host. Are you ready? Can you host? If not, we're going to talk about it, and we're going to start right now. Are you ready? Hello, YouTubers. If this is your first time checking out my videos and or exploring my channel, just make sure you subscribe and also hit that bell notification so you can get more on J Baylock tutorials. Thank you very much. Let's get started. So you want to be a comedic host. Here's some things to remember. First off, the show is not about you. The show is about the comics that are on the flyer. Your job as a host is very simple. It's bringing comics up, letting the crowd know what's going on, letting the crowd know what they're getting themselves into, and kind of warming them up a little bit. When you get on there and you introduce yourself as the host, make sure, and this is very important, that you do drops and shout outs. What I mean is, shout out the venue, if they sell and stuff, make sure you advertise that. And if there's any vendors in the building, make sure you advertise them. Always advertise them. Comedians, vendors, bar, restaurant, whatever's going on in that venue, whatever they have available for the consumer, which is the audience, sell it. So yeah, I guess you could say you're kind of sort of a, uh, a spokesperson for the showcase and for the establishment. Now... When it comes to your joke selection, try your best not to use your signature jokes or jokes you just written. I mean, you can kind of sneak them in there, and we're going to talk about that as well. But you want to try your best to learn how to freestyle and or freestyle. As a matter of fact, when you're hosting, you automatically freestyle because you're coming up on the fly with things um, as far as mess with the crowd, crowd work. Um, something happened in the now, something happened to you that day, it kind of flows with you. And also, when it comes to that type of freestyling, it makes you better as a comic. Because technically, before we write a joke and we make it ours, we automatically freestyle it first. We think about it and we'll be like, man, that would be kind of funny. And then we write it down, we go polish it, and then we make it ours. But it kicks off as a freestyle. Just like when you rap, you freestyle. And then you'd be like, wait, that could be an album. And then you make your album. So comedy is the same thing. Another thing, when you're going up there and you're finna host, you have about five to ten minutes. Don't go up there doing an HBO special, 20, 30, 40 minutes, and then you bring up the first comment. You will bore the audience to death. I don't care how funny you are. Because remember, it's not your job to be funny. It's the comic's job. You can warm them up a little bit, but don't go overboard. Just do just enough. And then you can end it with a, all right, I guess y'all warmed up enough. Y'all ready for y'all first comic? Because there's people that's here to see the comics. They're not here to see you. Now, if you invite people, then those people are probably here to see you, but they're not here to see you. Bring up the comics as fast as possible. Another thing, too, when you're in between comics, you can riff a little bit. And if you don't know what riffing is, I did a video previously that talks about riffing. You'll find it somewhere around here somewhere. Yeah. So, when it comes to riffing, basically you're taking a comics joke and you're giving your version of that joke. So, for example, oh man, give it up for this person. Yeah, yeah. Man, he came up here and talked about nipples. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, it's kind of weird, sir. And then the crowd will probably laugh at it. But anyway, moving on. Y'all ready for y'all next comment? Coming to the stage, this person. And that's how you do it. It's very simple, very easy. And you can also, with hosting, it makes you better as a comic. Because you're freestyling, you're being liked. And then, if you do a good job, you get invited to do back-to-back -back hosting gigs. To the point where you become a household name like Martin Lawrence. Yeah, the Martin Lawrence. So that's all the tips I have for you guys today. If that was helpful and you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if I leave anything out, and if you're a comic and you want to put your two cents in on hosting, 
just make sure you put that in the comment section below. Until then, I'm Jeff Baylock with J Baylock Tutorials. Y'all have a good day, and y'all be well. And let's go host. Take over the show.